Hello fellow gamers and I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and in this video we're going to be doing this week's Hit the Road quest which is Escort Cloak Star Part 2 and for that we get Thunder Thora and um, this is actually a hero I have uh, used in my loadouts before and I've actually used her as my main hero as well. Uh, we'll go over her perks and abilities a bit later on in the video. So I'll just show you what loadout I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my Commando Spitfire hero loadout. And his hero abilities are Going Commando, Frag Grenade and Shockwave. And his uh, perk is Going Again, decreases Going Commando cooldown by 66%. For my team perk, I have Happy Holidays, reduces your ability cooldown by 40%. Stacks independently from other cooldown reduction perks. So I've got my 66% uh, cooldown on my minigun there and an extra 40% cooldown with the team perk. For my support team, I have Survivalist. Eliminations heal you for 39 base health over 3 seconds. Duration refreshes with additional eliminations. And this is a hero I have in every single one of my loadouts because if you're killing enemies you're gaining health so it's uh, pretty much essential and you need survivalist Jonesy for that. Boomstick increases going commando damage by 25% and for that you would need a diecast Jonesy. First cup of the day while going commando is active increases crit rating by 10 and crit damage by 100%. And for that you would need Ted. So you can see in this loadout um, most of my support team are basically for my um, going commando because uh, I've got a 5 second cooldown on it and I'm going to be using it a lot. Ain't done yet increases going commando duration by five seconds and for that you would need Sergeant Jonesy. Snowing commando going commando fires a snowball grenade every 20 shots dealing 19 base water damage in a radius of half a tile and for that you would need Sergeant Winter. And for my gadgets I have a stationary hover turret and adrenaline rush. Right, let's go and uh, do this. This week's hit the road. I'm just going to do it on power level 88. It's on public. Yeah. Because then, if you've got three players, you're still you're still going to complete it. You know, if you do it at the power level 140, and somebody leaves, then there's a chance that you're going to unfortunately fail it. Here we go, we've got three people. Hopefully a fourth person will join and we don't have to wait around for too long. And apologies again if you can hear my PS4 fan in the background. It is noisy as hell. It, my PlayStation 4 is getting pretty old now, so it's uh, not surprising. <laughs> I hope it doesn't break on me because then I'm going to be um, up shit creek without a paddle because I can't afford to buy another one. Yeah, I do quite like Thunder Thor. I don't really use constructors very often, but uh, she is one that I will use because her perk is uh, it's pretty good. I'm using my uh, Storm Trooper skin for this one. Oh, good. We don't have to wait around for too long now. I've got four players. Follow me and I'll take you where you need to go. 
Oh, and that storm is picking up ahead. So unless you need supplies, stay inside the storm shield. Grab some materials. Seem to have a uh, faster pickaxe swing in this this week's hit the road. Unless I'm just imagining it, I don't know. I'm not going to be talking much while I'm using my uh, minigun because it is pretty loud. Don't kill my raptor please, it is quite friendly. Alright guys, I'll build around it, you just uh, stand around twiddling your thumbs. Grab a bit more materials while we uh, wait for the enemies to appear.
really? And power level 88 in the down? I was going to give my raptor some meat and uh, he wandered off. So we got the song of the summer is the imperceptible whine of a shuriken barrage. Again, that is not a song. Go on, get the meat. Music to my ears. A bit more meat. Just got full health. Don't need to uh, any meat.
blue glow in that area. Maybe you should grab enough to power up the radio station. You are a good friend, Lars. Blue glow scouts, canvas the area and deposit the energy into the back of the pickup truck. Alright, so we need two more blue glow. Just let me put it in the back. Oh, it must automatically go in the back. Grab a bit of metal while I'm here. We've lost one percent of a truck health. We were doing ever so well up until that point.
This area is not in my travel guide. Did you take a wrong turn somewhere? I never take a wrong turn. Well, lock the doors and don't pick up any hitchhikers. Get a mini boss at this bit as well. All right, you can edit, but you can't stay alive. You keep dying. That guy that's editing at the minute. girl there could be a girl I don't know because girls do play video games funny enough yeah definitely faster pickaxe speed from last week's one it's a lot faster Uh, stop that. The song of the summer is the quiet padding footsteps of an assassin on the prowl. No. It's music or nothing. No more menacing songs. The song of the summer is the cacophony of war. Go home. I have no home. Yes, you do. I've been there. That is my lair. Please, just go. Fine. Oh, this is the bit where we, uh, you have to uh, get the survivors. Picking up some weird signals coming from the old military base. Let's infiltrate and dominate. Well, we should probably investigate it, unless we want to suffer the same fate. I told you, they're down again. Thank you. 
I think my raptor just died. Yep, there's loads of metal in there, but I thought I'd stay up top and uh, defend. That other guy keeps dying because he's off miles away from uh, the truck. to 97% on the truck. All right, we've got a new pet. Hydra, we will, we will take that. Oh, 
We've only got 50 seconds before the wave starts. Uh, what have we got trap-wise? anti-air trap on here Cancel the minigun by mistake then. Gotta wait 15 seconds now. my wolf some meat because he's um, running a bit low on health. Get the mini boss any minute now.
care it is. And it's trap vulnerable, typical. There we go, we've done it. <laughs> Highest combat, lowest building. It's usually always the case with me, I don't tend to do a lot of building. Mainly because I can't build my terrible builder. Well, I can build, I'm just slow. Which is... Uh, my downfall when I'm playing Battle Royale. That sounds like my girlfriend's just got home from work as well. I would highly recommend that you do this week's Hit the Road and get Thunder Thora. She is a good constructor. She is, she is worth having in, you know, and uh, if you don't get it, you'll probably regret it at a later stage. But then again, you could always take her out your collection book with a uh, Adventures Hero Recruitment Voucher if she takes that to, uh, to take out. I'll have a look in a minute. Ooh, we've got some Epic Perk Up. Always need that. Escort Cloak Star Part 2 Done and Dusted And Thunder Thora Bringing the Thunder to the ground Let me just uh, Screenshot this for the video thumbnail And Epic Mixtape 25 cassettes I think it is And hit the road daily. I don't bother doing it daily. It's not like 100 road trip tickets and 250 gold for doing a 40 odd minute, 40 minute mission. It's not worth it. Epic need to increase that amount to make it actually worthwhile doing. Hi, Han. Hello. <laughs> I'll make you a cup of tea in a minute after I've uh, finished doing this video. Constructor by name. Yeah, I've already got. Uh, I can recycle, recycle her. Because so I've already got her in my collection book, and I've already got a 144 version of her and a uh, 130. I was actually saving a second one of these to actually um, use for sending off on expeditions. But uh, I don't think you can. I think one, you can only have a 144 hero or a 130. 
you can't have a 144 and a 130 for the expeditions so i might end up uh, recycling a load of these heroes yet right let's uh show you as you can see i have uh, supercharged her to 144. now her standard perk is electrified floors enemy stand standing on structures let me just uh, store a minute because i think my girlfriend's just uh, boiling the kettle uh electrified floors enemy standing on structures affected by base take 12.7 base energy damage every five seconds and that's if you have her in a obviously it's going to have to be a constructor loadout because you know you need your base it's pointless putting her in a ninja loadout or a soldier loadout um her commander perk that's basically if you have her as your main hero electrified floors enemies standing on structures affected by base take 38.1 base energy damage every five seconds and uh, that's a fair bit of damage e even if you have a slotted in your loadout 12.7 base energy damage you know it's still it's still doing a bit of damage and uh you know you can use a little maybe a little less traps and use her instead as long as you've got like a floor down and then the enemies are walking over it class perk kinetic overload many not bat melee knockbacks and staggers trigger kinetic overload dealing 25 excuse me 25 base energy damage to nearby enemies after melee critical hits increase melee impact damage by 10 percent for five seconds up to five stacks wow that was a mouthful and a half <laughs> base place base to reinforce attached structures with 60 armor extends four segments from placement placed from the trap wheel and that's four segments either side of of the base now her abilities are plasma pulse cost 40 energy cooldown 27 seconds deploy a device which spews plasma mines for six seconds each mine deals 53,044.7 energy damage bull rush costs 20 energy cooldown nine seconds charge forward two tiles dealing 119,927.1 physical damage to enemies and pushing them away with your shield. Decoy costs 30 energy, cooldown 18 seconds. Deploy a decoy which distracts nearby enemies for 6 seconds. Does not affect miss monsters or bosses. I think it should affect miss monsters, maybe not bosses, but yeah, definitely miss, miss monsters. So there we have it this week's hit the road as i say i would highly recommend you get you get her you know she's a pretty decent uh, constructor let me just check uh, my uh yeah there you go i do have her in my mega base kyle constructor loadout Well, I'm actually going to end this video there, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, then why not subscribe? Hit the bell notification symbol and you'll be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube. If you'd like to help out my channel, you can do so by sharing my videos on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Tell all your gaming friends about my channel. Help my channel to grow. If you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially, I do have a Patreon account and you can pledge from just $1 a month. And there's a link to my Patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos. If you are under the age of 18, please ask your parents permission before pledging. That's all I ask. Alternatively, feel free to use my support a creator code, which is exactly the same as my YouTube gaming channel name, starfish underscore central. And again, a big thank you to those of you who have been kind enough to use my code. It is very much appreciated. And if you don't use my code and support me as a creator, make sure you use somebody's creator code and support them because, you know, it gives them a, a little bit of extra revenue, providing, of course, they can hit the, um, the $100 payment threshold um, in 12 months, which unfortunately I've only hit the once. So I've only ever had one uh, creator code payment payout but uh, it is what it is and I, I can't do much about that 
Another way you can help out my channel is by watching my video adverts. You don't have to, I do make my adverts skippable, but uh, please do bear in mind, if you don't watch the adverts, I don't get paid. It's as simple as that. Because YouTubers, they get paid for advert views and not for video views. As uh, some people seem to think, oh, you get paid for the views on your video. No, you don't. You get paid for the people watching the adverts on your videos. Many thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.